Stringing a horn is easy to do. Please go to www.redwingmusicrepair.org for a short video showing how to do it. If a piston is stuck, it might be because it is glazed from sitting an extended period of time. It might be from a dented casing, a bent bell, a misaligned tuning slide, a twisted body, damage at the bottom cap. The list can go on and on. The key is to eliminate the possibility of the piston being dry and glazed shut before you send it to the repair shop to deal with the other possibilities. We're showing a stuck number one piston here. Place four to six drops of valve oil in that piston's valve slide. Wait one hour. Then attempt to move the piston by hand. If the valve will not move, do not bang on it or attempt to remove it by any other means. A common cause for stuck valves is a stray mouthpiece in the case. Mouthpieces that are not secure, like that shown here, can fly around the inside of the case, denting everything it contacts, including the valve casing. When one considers that the distance between a piston and its casing is as little as one thousandth of an inch, it takes very little damage to stop a valve. This is why storing music inside the case is not recommended. Stress and bends on the instrument can, like a dent, stop a valve and create a high repair bill. Under no circumstances do we recommend driving a stuck piston out. Pistons are hollow and easily damaged. Send the instrument to the repair shop where they have tools to manage the problem and assume liability if something goes wrong. Like a stuck piston or rotor, Trombone slides, especially those lubricated with slide oil, will stick shut from lack of use. There is no effective way of oiling a slide when stuck shut, so we recommend you attempt to pull it apart by hand. Avoid blocking against your feet when pulling. Typically, if that much force is necessary, there is likely a dent or something else holding the slide shut. Send it to the repair shop. Our other tips for brass winds include if a mouthpiece shank is split, do not file or sand the shank shorter. A shortened mouthpiece shank plays havoc with intonation, tone, and response. Setting a mouthpiece down on its rim on a music stand can quickly wear away the mouthpiece plating, exposing the player to bare brass that contains small amounts of lead. If the rim plating is worn away, it's usually time for a new mouthpiece. Pay attention to the condition of mouthpiece rims. What you see here is a rim that is dinged and dented enough to hinder player development. This mouthpiece needs replacing. If a bell or other instrument part gets bent to the point where it kinks, do not attempt to bend it back. The brass typically tears, rendering the part useless, adding much to the repair bill. If something gets kinked, Leave it be until a repair technician can deal with it. Here is the regular maintenance we recommend for your brass instruments. Oil piston valves every day the instrument is played. Oil rotary valves at the very least once per week. Both the spindle and the rotor body. At www.redwingmusicrepair.org we have links to videos on how to properly oil piston and rotary valves. Grease tuning slides once per month and make sure slides are pushed in after playing. It is very common for students to purchase tube brushes so their instrument can be disassembled and bathed at home. Our feeling is that this often results in unwanted, expensive, and unnecessary damage. Therefore, we recommend spitballs as an alternative. Sponge spitballs have been around for years, are economical, easy to use, and do not require disassembling the instrument. Once a month, place a spitball inside the mouthpiece receiver. Advance the spitball about six inches into the instrument with a pencil or pen. With valves up, blow the spitball through the instrument. It will come out of the bell. Do not reuse spitballs as they are often pretty well gunked up. 
It is also possible to send the spitball through the lead pipe and main tuning slide only. This is where most of the buildup occurs inside brass instruments. Realistically though, sending the spitball out the bell is more fun. Using spitballs combined with regular and proper lubrication will keep the instrument running well for up to a year. We recommend at least once a year visiting your repair shop for professional acid bath cleaning, dent removal, and adjustment. We cannot forget trombone slides. Regardless of whether you use just slide oil or a cream and water combination, we recommend wiping the slide once per week using a lint-free cloth like cheesecloth to help reduce buildup and glaze. As repair technicians, our job is to ensure all musicians, regardless of age, have instruments that play their very best at all times and are cared for in a manner that ensures longevity. We hope you build strong relationships with your repair technicians. Most are musicians themselves and are willing to work with you so you are playing your best at all times. Contact us with any questions. The handouts and other materials supporting this information are available at www.redwingmusicrepair.org. Thank you.